this such a it's early morning. Uh, we just have we have a thing in South Africa called load shedding, uh, so there's no electricity. Uh, but I built the set actually for daytime activity. You know, um, and I have the door open uh, because we need the light. And also, I have the you can't see it, but there's the transparent uh, roofing right there. That's why. Um, well, that's one of the things get light. So um, the set is uh, Sussut built S U S S capital H U T. Sus hut, sus, um, uh, to suss things out. It's a South Africa, well, I learned it in South Africa. You know, suss things out to work things out. You know, so you think about stuff and then you, you talk about to work things out. And the sus is dedicated to talking about things. The, 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 usually, the young people come in here and they, um, and they, and they, they have ideas. They uh, talk them out, and then they're supposed to put them into action, uh, which is happening. Actually, it's happening. They have a community event, uh, I think, uh, later on this week, and then um, next week. Down in Dumbaza, because my uh, my uh, uh, well, I guess you call my, my colleague, comrade, uh, associate uh, down in Dumbaza is Mascoli, and Mascoli, he um, then that group down there, and Nelly and them, and then Blaze and them, there, they're starting a radio program, a, ra a radio station, I should say, and somehow I think I'm some sort of senior, something I don't know, whatever it is. Anyway, so such is very is very important. This this initiative that we're doing. Uh, but that's not uh, the reason why I'm here now talking is because there's a couple of things happening in South Africa. Uh, let's just get rid of load shedding right now. Load shedding is uh, this, we have one uh, electric company, whatever power grid company called ESCOM, and uh, there's a, people are talking. Here's what the ground people are saying, especially what well, the union numbers are, is saying, and uh, I actually tend to have to sort of agree with them because this low shedding uh, it, it was sporadic a little bit, but now it's really come like every day they're doing this, and you kind of well, wonder why, what what has changed in so long? Uh, something must have radically changed, and the funny thing is that with this low shedding, it's also uh, this is election season, like in, in in May there's going to be elections, so usually this doesn't happen right before elections, so something strange happening and so some people are saying well that's because uh, the, the people want to sell off ESCOM they want to privatize ESCOM in sections or whatever have you and this is one of the things that hammer the people whatever it is we'll deal with that some other time I suppose we get more facts what I do want to uh, 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 talk about a little bit is because just this past weekend let me sit back because I've been not been nice this just this past weekend I was a uh, I was in a well, it's no longer called Gramstown. Is a uh, 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 Makanda. Uh, uh, yeah, Makanda. It's called Makanda. Like, like, like. It's not like, <laughs> not like the Black Panther thing. But it's Makanda. Uh, Ma, Ma, Makana. Makana. Ma, Makanda. Yeah, Makanda is a is a is a. It was a chief uh, that was um, uh, here in the Eastern Cape. Well, in Gramstown. We named well, it was formerly Gramstown area. Gramstown was this young young general. Well, not you know, young, young guy that uh, that that brought these cannons, this cannons up to uh, up to uh, Gramstown area, and up to fire on the people. But what happened is, uh, 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 Makanda, this, this this chief, he uh, he had some experience with, with material uh, military things. Somebody else also had material, and they realized that because you get a lot of mist in uh, in, in Makanda, uh, and 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 what happens is with the gunpowder, whatever have it, it was, would falter. Uh, going through this this mist, and so they would say that you know the the, the time to attack to attack the the forces the colonial forces the British colonial forces would be when when the mist comes because they, they couldn't accurately fire and you know something happened with the ammunition you know the gunpowder that or whatever moist and all this stuff. Anyway, he finally was whatever caught and and they went to Robben Island, and but he was he a group of other people escaped from Robben Island in the waters, uh, but he perished and, and the last of the people who and he kept on telling the other people go 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 just go you know don't worry about me and he was holding on to this rock and 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 as the as the story goes uh, they thought they figured he was he he perished. Um, that's what the reports. A lot of people, of course, you know, when you have somebody of that stature, they don't you know they believe he's still alive. They always till this day people. Well, like that. There are other forces that were against it because of this whole thing about uh, the, the gunpowder, whatever have you. Said. And because, you know, then British would come in daytime and say, yo, well, bullets will kill you and, you know, kill somebody or something like that, you know. And so, so basically what would happen is some people that said, oh, he's a myth or whatever, he's lying to us and this causes that, I don't know what I was paying for. 
So anyway, I give all that to say this this weekend uh, in 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 uh, uh, Makanda, um, uh, I was m met with a, a colleague of mine that I used to work with at Dasa, great professor. He's a police, he's, he's a lecturer at uh, at Rose University, and very uh, he's. She, a lot of medicine, Sheppy is the best. He's just, he's just the absolute best. If I defer to anybody in this country for stuff, it's Sheppy. He was a student leader. He just has a long, everybody knows Sheppy, believe me, especially if you've been in the movie, in the movement. Um, also, in the, in, the, in the discussion, was a lawyer friend of his, a barrister, a, a, we call him lawyer in the States, but a barrister, match, not a magistrate, a barrister, um, and then um, a student, an, an, uh, a postgraduate student. Since it seems like she actually is postgraduate there, but she knew me from here, from the University of Fort Hare. Um, she saw me, well, she saw me then, but we, this first time I didn't really know who she was, but you know, we talked a little bit. In fact, she's a student in education. Education takes, takes some sort of psychology too, so I gave her, I give everybody tips all the time. I said, oh, you need to read Amos Wilson, Dr. Amos Wilson. She said, oh, Dr. Amos Wilson. So I gave her, I looked up on, on the internet, whatever have you. And she said, if you don't want to read his books, just listen to his lectures, it will do you a world of good. So hopefully she'll take that to task. Uh, but but the, 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 one of the things about the Sasa, we're, we're, this whole thing of, of uh, thought, speech, and action really comes from uh, 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 Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. from his uh, compensatory concept, his, his code uh, of work, and where, where that's what his is about, thought, speech, speech, and action. So when they come here, they're supposed to do that. So I mentioned, so one of his things, Neely Fuller Jr., he's, de he's defined justice. So of course, with the, because I've done this a lot, and so with the, with the barrister, I said, hey, define justice for me. And he did like everybody said, well, it's a long thing, it goes back to Cicero, whatever, whatever, whatever. I said, so Cicero, wait a second, where did he get his stuff from? That he, he sort of equivocated it. Now he got his stuff from Africa, so I don't know what you do. So I always mess with people. Anyway, so we got past that. So I, so I said, but I said, well, you're not giving me any definition. So let me give you a definition from Mr. Neely Fuller. You know? He says that justice is the guarantee no one is mistreated, and the guarantee that those who need help get the most. I said the, the the most constructive help possible. Okay, those who need help get the most constructive help. Okay, so the first part, the guarantee that no one is mistreated. It's very simple. And just think about it. And like I, this is with some some other people too. They 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 think of it. They think and they try to you know because you know you're a lawyer, so you're trying to win your you know somebody tell you something, you try to poke the holes. And he says, uh, uh, well, this guarantee is, is uh, I said, no, 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 I wouldn't get that. So anyway, we had this nice, really, really great, uh, really great meal at this uh, uh, sort of Main Street there in, in, in uh, Makanda, uh, what is it, uh, the Donkey and something. I call it the Donkey Place. It's a really nice place. place. I had Guinness, which I can't get any place, Guinness, right? And then they ran out of Guinness, so I had to settle. Well, I don't like the mixed drinks because that's what gives you a headache, hangover. I'm getting too personal, but you know, I had margarita. I love margaritas. Okay, let's talk about that. So it was a, it was a really great thing. Uh, but what's happening now is a lot of people ask me about this land appropriation, land, whatever it is. And of course, you know, later on we left that. I talked to uh, Sheppy about it. Uh, too bad I didn't get it on tape. We could show him. Uh, but he says, he says, look, people, well, everybody's talking about, they've tried to put Jews Malema as the face on it, but this law that South Africa's taking back land. They think even uh, 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 Mr. Trump, uh, President Trump, waiting and trying to, I, I don't know, he's all the way there. He does, he's not on the ground here. So, uh, look, you're listening to the wrong Americans if you, if you listen to, to the Trump crew and or whoever else is, is, is talking from the outside. First of all, this land thing has been going on for a very long time. They've been studying this for a long, 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 long time. It's that when Julius came along, he just really blurted it out. And, and Julius Malema is, is like, is like a, a, a Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, where, you know, well, he's before her, but really, when he says something, it, it, it resonates, it pushes, and he always has an answer, you know. He's on Twitter, he's, he's all kinds of things. So he's sort of like the face. And a lot of young people are listening to him. In fact, there was somebody wrote from Durban about the, you shouldn't listen to Julius Malema or something like that. He's from Durban. What does that mean? So I'm... I'm I'm waiting to see what happens in May, see how the EFF will grow, of course. He's the charter of economic freedom fighters. It'll grow, of course, you know, like on the political party. We'll see how much it grows and how much ANC or, or whoever else uh, um, uh, comes down. So, so, so he basically pushed the ANC, the, the ruling, so-called ruling party, to, to, to do this. 
So, uh, but they, they were, uh, Chevy was telling me there was one study, one academic study said even if they started doing this, it would take almost a hundred years to, to get it right, to get it to where it is. Now, here's the thing about land. The land, the, 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 there's these huge tracts of land that the, colon, the uh, colonialists, the, the settler, settler, settler colonists uh, got from, 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 being, from being settler colonists, you know, they, and, and this so these, these huge tracts of land, and so, of course, they want that back, but also, remember, the chiefs own, not own, but they're supposed to be custodian of land, and the chiefs have been doing some, they're, they're, these are traditional leaders. That the whole, that the whole, um, they they're over villages and stuff like that. Everybody belongs to a to a, to a tribe, to put it um, lightly. And so they own, they they control a bunch of stuff, too, but they've been like selling stuff off to to people who ever have it. So they've been through these years been doing doing some shady stuff too. So this whole land appropriation, which is remember, now remember when the settler colonials came in, they just took the land. So. Okay, let's think about it. And this has always been that thing. But it, it, it's, the United States, what well, is nothing but land grabs, land appropriation. It's land grabs. It's all it is. Even even as late as World War II, when they locked up those those uh, those Japanese and turned in, basically they did lock it up to take their land. Just they did take their business and take their land. This is a to a normal thing for the colonizer. That's what they do. So this put this finally trying to get it right. And, and in fact, the problem, and I learned this from the barrister, the the, 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 the problem is that the justice system here, the, they, they try to be very, just the letter of the law, whatever have you, but there's a lot of people in the justice that are just, uh, he says, I, not my, my words, he says, they're idiots. People that got into, into, into the justice system early on with, with the thing, they're just idiots, you know? So this thing is gonna be years before it starts to work out, but the, 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 the land uh, reappropriation is, is real. In fact, there was a, a time when, um, a little, little while ago, that the government wanted to buy the land back, but the, 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 the these, these colonialists, you know, they their prices were too high, you know. Now, unlike the United States, the United States, all they would do is just like, you know, what's the eminent, eminent domain, they just pff, take the stuff, you know, but they didn't do that because they went to justice or whatever. I, they got it from, you know, they got it from Cyril, that, that Greek guy or whatever it is, they got it from those kind of people. Um, so, so, so it's very, uh, not delicate, but, but, but it's a real thing. But as I think that South Africa is just too polite, you know, to really do what they, they need to do. So this is going to happen. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of, lot of nuances at play that you're not going to get from headlines, but some white supremacists or whatever have you. Also, remember, one last thing. When they had that at Gadessa 1 and they had this, this peace, because remember, South Africa really did not win their freedom. They negotiated basically an armistice, right? And part of that negotiation, what happens is the Eng English settlers, right, they got basically the banking sector, right? The, um, the Boers, uh, the, the other settlers, they got the land and also real estate. And, the, and, the, and for lack of a bit, the, the, the natives, the, the, the black uh, population, uh, they got the, the social and the political sphere. But they haven't been any, anything to do with it. They, they didn't do anything with that. And the part of things the young people realize that they didn't economically, they didn't win anything. So now the young people are basically uh, are fighting with their, uh, their, yeah, they're fighting with their elders, the older people who had their first struggle, and they, they, they didn't continue their struggle. They didn't win anything. Now, now basically, young people got to fight and get that back, go through them, and then finally get everything straight. I mean, I hope this is straight for, for folks here. So I just wanted to make a little thing, and like I said, it's early morning. You might hear some cows. Um, and uh, Sasa, you hear more about it. Um, I post um, uh, the kids talking because it's their, it's, their, it's their thing. Um, and we do it weekly. So stay tuned. And play as, as a friend of mine, a colleague of mine in the States, stay tuned and pay close attention. This is a little report from me, T. Hunter Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From the Sasa. Alice. Limbete, South Africa.